We have no one to blame for our sin except for ourselves. And this is very important for us today because America has become a nation where nobody wants to accept personal responsibility for their actions. Two homosexual men or two homosexual women defy and rebel against the clear teaching of God's Word. And they decide they want to move in together and play house. And they're, they want to act like they're a real married couple. And it's, it's long been the agenda of the homosexual community to convince everyone in our society that this is just a normal, natural thing. When even Romans chapter 1 calls it unnatural. And for decades... They've been repeating that same mantra, telling people we were born this way. This is the way God created us. It was a little less than one year ago that the Supreme Court of the United States handed down that historic ruling that basically looks at homosexual marriage as equal under the law to the beautiful marriage that I share with my wife for nearly 25 years now. Now here we are less than a year later and last week, Kent Scribner, right here in Fort Worth, Texas, the Fort Worth superintendent of the Fort Worth ISD, has changed the restroom policies right here in the schools where many of your children are attending, allowing students to enter whichever restroom of the gender they identify with. Then, this last Friday, the President of the United States, Barack Obama, jumped on that rainbow-colored bandwagon, and he threatened to deny federal funding from any school in America that doesn't go along with an open restroom policy. Now listen, this garbage is based on the belief and the desire to push forward an agenda that says there are certain very special people in our society that just can't help the way they are. I want to make something very clear this morning. I have to be vocal about this. I'm making a public statement to Kent Scribner of the Fort Worth ISD. I'm making a public statement to the President of the United States and to the Supreme Court of the United States. I may not be a big deal in this world, but I hope somehow this message gets to both of you. I want both of you men to know, and all you men on the court, and all you ladies on the court to know that one of these days, you're all going to be brought before the throne of the Almighty God to be judged. So you better start thinking about the things you're doing. Jesus Christ is still King of Kings and still Lord of Lords. And we are the church. And we hold the Word of God in our hands. And we, you may think this book is outdated, but we're going to hold it high and we're going to teach it to our children. We're going to teach them that men ought to act like men and ladies ought to act like ladies. And no matter how much America changes, God's truth will always stay the same. You can keep your change and you can keep your federal funds. We'll keep our children. cannot have their minds, you cannot have their hearts because our kids belong to Jesus. So stay out of my daughter's bathroom. <laughs>